When you watch a scary movie or a tense movie for the second or third time, you watch it differently than you did the first. Why? Well, because you know, you know how it ends. There's a story back in the second or third century of a group of Christians who were able to risk their lives amidst some deadly plagues because they ultimately trusted Jesus to the point where they knew how their ultimate story of life ended. And this enabled them to really risk their lives. The early church was, they were no strangers to plagues and, and epidemics. And the church's posture made such a strong impression on the Roman Empire that the Roman Empire began to complain that their, actually their priests needed to begin to emulate the Christian uh, practices. In uh, 249 AD to about 262, uh, the height of the plague um, reached an epidemic where sometimes 5,000 people were dying a day. And a lot of the, those in the Roman Empire, what they were doing is they were really trampling on their own family members. They were, they were leaving them um, to die. Whereas the Christians were coming alongside and they were tending to the sick. Um, they were giving um, burials to those who otherwise didn't have one. And many of them risked their lives to the point of death. I want to read a quote from an early his church historian on this. It says this, most of our brother Christians showed unbounded love and loyalty, never sparing themselves and thinking only of one another. Heedless of the danger, they took charge of the sick, attending to their every need and ministering to them in Christ. And with them departed this life serenely happy, for they were infected by others with the disease, drawing on themselves the sickness of their neighbors and cheerfully accepting their pains. Listen to Jesus' words in John 16, 32 and 33. And I believe it was these types of promises that emboldened these Christians. A time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. When you know how something ends, it drastically impacts the way that you go through something. These Christians knew how it ended, and therefore they were able to love in an incredibly selfless way. Well, brothers and sisters, during this time, we too know how it ends. We too have the words of Jesus to cling to. There are a couple passages that come to mind. Jesus said, there's no greater love than one lay down his life um, for his friends. Um, he also said that um, by your love, that they will know that you are my disciples. Sometimes we have this incredible hope before us that is sometimes just out of our reach because we're not tapping into it. See, these early Christians who so graciously risked their lives knew these promises. And so my encouragement for us today are to be reminded of the promises that we have because of Christ. And so I would encourage you, right after you watch this devotion, take about 10 minutes, um, whether you write it in a journal or on a piece of paper, and begin to write down the promises that you know that are yours because you're a Christian. And as you do, I am convinced that a love will begin to well up within you because of the certainty that you have will drastically impact the boldness in which you can live your life now.